from physician's assistant to private astronaut. Could you walk me through how this happened? Yes, I know. Who would have thought that I'd make that jump? Um, but it all started in early January. You know, I'm working at St. Jude and I got this email from some people at St. Jude saying they wanted to talk to me about a unique opportunity. And the next day they gave me a call and they told me about this mission because I hadn't heard of the mission until this point. It was it was still under wraps. And they told me about how this first all civilian mission to space was being used for good and to benefit St. Jude. And then they absolutely shocked me when they asked if I wanted to be part of it and go to space. And immediately I said, yes. Um, and then I was like, well, let me check with my family, but yes. And I called my mom and I said, you are not going to believe this, but it's true. I just got invited to go to space. <laughs> and she was like, like as shocked as I was. And I said, I cannot pass up this opportunity. And she agreed. She said, you cannot pass this up. And um, actually, my brother and sister-in-law are aerospace engineers. Oh, wow. And so they were the next people I called. And they made me feel better about the safety of space travel. And so I, I was able to give St. Jude that definite yes. Oh, that must have been so exciting. I, I mean, that was still so recent. Are you still in shock? Is it is it a little more real now? I think there have been several steps along the way that's made it feel more real. Um, a week after I got the phone call, I was on a, a flight out to SpaceX, got fitted for my spacesuit, and um, and just when I saw, oh, I got to see Crew Two launch, and there's just been several steps that have just made it sink in a little bit more that we're going to be going to space in just a few months, and I could not be more excited. Absolutely. Now, have you always loved space? You mentioned your siblings are aerospace engineers. Did you? ever think that you might one day work with space flight or go to space? You're right. Like my brother has always been really into space. And because of that, our family has been pretty into space. And we've gone to NASA a couple of times as a family. And we actually went to NASA just a few months before I was diagnosed with cancer. And I got to see where the astronauts train. And I think every kid looks at that and wants to be an astronaut. But then a few months later, I was diagnosed with cancer and all I've ever wanted to do since I was 10 is work at St. Jude. And so I never thought I'd be an astronaut. But honestly, until this mission, I could never have been an astronaut. You know, until now, astronauts have really had to be physically perfect. And I don't fall, fall into that category. I have a, a metal rod in my leg um, from when they saved my leg. And um, and so I never thought I'd be an astronaut. And that was part of what made that phone call so shocking, but I couldn't be more excited. Absolutely. Now, you mentioned your diagnosis. Now, in addition to your incredible work with St. Jude, you are also a bone cancer survivor. How does it feel, you know, having survived bone cancer to be flying to space, especially as the first person with a prosthetic body part to go to space. Now, I'm sure you're aware that the European Space Agency kind of just started their para-astronaut program that does open that window up of accessibility just a bit. But I I'm curious, as the person who will be paving the way, being that first person, how does that feel? I just feel so honored to be paving the way, like you said. And I am so excited to think of the people that are gonna come after me. And I think space travel should be open to everyone. And this is a really big first step. Absolutely. Now, you know, you mentioned that you got the call, that everything started happening back in January, but I know that you've been training as we're just a few short months away from launch. What has the training process for going to space been like for you? And it's so interesting because we're the first group of all civilians to go. And, you know, it's not a year long, like several years of, of training. We've had about six months and a lot of it has been academics and studying on our own, um, really learning the nominal overview of the mission and the ins and outs of our spacecraft. And on top of that, um, we've done the, the typical astronaut training with centrifuge training. We're going to do some water survival training and um, the hyperbaric chamber is coming up. But also um, our commander, Jared, has had some really cool ideas of additional training to bond us as a crew. And in May, we hiked up Mount Rainier 
and we camped on Mount Rainier for a couple of days and definitely got out of our comfort zone and really bonded as a crew. And then in August, we're going to do some fighter jet training and get to fly with Jared up and, um, and really feel some G forces with that one. But it's just, it's been so much fun, all these really unique opportunities. And we're going to be really well prepared for when we launch in September. Definitely. As someone who's just newly become an astronaut and who's kind of getting that first taste of spaceflight training, what do you think the most important thing that you've learned is so far? I know you still have, you know, training ahead of you, but what do you think the most important takeaway you have so far is? That's such a good question. Um, I think the most important thing I've learned so far is how important it is to trust your crew members. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all have different roles on this mission and just trusting that the other person's got their role, but at the same time, knowing when to help if needed. And we've gotten to have so many unique opportunities together to learn how to trust each other. And the four of us have gotten really close already. And I know that by the time we launch, we're going to be even closer. Absolutely. Now, you know, with any space flight crew for any mission, uh, you know, each individual person while you're working as a crew, each person does have their specific role. Could you tell me a bit about your role as part of the crew and what you expect that to be like? I'm the medical officer on our mission and I'm a physician assistant by trade. And so for this mission, I've gotten some additional space medicine training and um, and even have learned some little procedures that we may do in space if, if um, any situations arise that they may warrant them and just being prepared for anything that could happen. Absolutely. Now I'm curious, you know, obviously, you know, you have to bring the necessities first, but is there anything personal to you that you are planning on bringing to space that you're able to share at this moment? One of the things I'm most excited about bringing is I'm taking along my dad's favorite tie. Wow. And he has this, this St. Jude tie that he would always wear. And he said he would love to wear it because then people would ask him about it and he would get to tell them about St. Jude. And it was kind of an inside joke because it's, it's like not the most fashion forward tie. Um, and I would always say, dad, don't wear that. Like wear something cool. And he would say, no, I want to talk about St. Jude. And, um, and he actually passed away almost three years ago of cancer. And, um, and so I, I think he would just absolutely love that I'm bringing his tie to space. And um, I'm also bringing along some pictures of friends I've lost through the years to cancer. Um, because from the age of 10, I've, I've lost friends. And um, I think they're an incredibly important part of this mission and, and why we're doing this and us raising this $200 million is because we're trying to get closer and closer to curing childhood cancer. Absolutely. That's, that's incredibly special, you know, both personal and really a reminder of what the mission is all about. Uh, now, it, kind of shifting gears a little bit, we're just a few months away. Um, things really are moving quite quickly. I, I'm sure <laughs> I don't have to tell you how quickly they're moving. Is there anything you're most excited or most nervous about leading up to this mission, launching off of planet Earth? There's so much that I'm excited about. Like, of course, experiencing the zero G environment and floating and in that, that moment where I see Earth from space for the first time. But what I'm truly looking forward to the most is we're gonna call the St. Jude patients from space. And it's going to be so fun for our kids to see somebody who is in their same shoes, getting to grow up and accomplish their dreams and then knowing that they can do the same. That's so amazing. Do you think that on the call will be any kids that you've directly worked with as a physician's assistant? Absolutely. I think several of my patients are going to be on that call. And it's just, it's just going to be so special for me to be part of. Absolutely. I, I mean, I couldn't even imagine, you know, first you're working together, you know, healing together, and then all of a sudden you're in space and giving them a call that must be so incredible, but also such an incredible opportunity for you to provide that inspiration to them. No pun intended. <laughs> and it's, I always like to talk to them about 
my journey whenever, whenever I feel like it's appropriate to talk about and, um, and try to encourage them that days are going to get better and, um, and that they will grow up and their dreams will come true and to not put limits on themselves. And I think this mission is just such an incredible way of showing that. Absolutely. Um, now, I just have a couple more questions. Thank you so much, Haley. I really, really appreciate this. Now, you know, in addition to being the first person with a prosthetic body part to go to space, uh, you are also checking all kinds of amazing things off the list. You will be the youngest American to go to space. Does, does that hold any weight for you? Do you feel any type of way about that? Whenever I found out I was going to be the youngest American to go to space, I was just overwhelmed with overwhelmed with how honored I felt. Like I was mind blown in a way. I never thought I would get any sort of title like that um, with this mission. And then just I just can't believe that it's happening to me and um, and just what an honor it is. Absolutely. Um, so I just have one more question. Thank you again, Haley. Now, you know, it's no secret that Inspiration4 it is a mission designed to benefit St. Jude and also to create inspiration, you know, to go to space and to bring the message of space home and all that that entails. I'm curious, what do you hope to do back on Earth with all that you've learned and accomplished with your journey to space? I'm going to come back and work at St. Jude, continue my job as a PA and just continue having these moments with the kids. And, you know, this time I'll get to show them some really fun pictures and videos, but the same message will be there that they can do anything they want to do. And um, I feel like that's why I was put on this earth. 